Welcome back to Studio 2166. Today we're going to be talking about the Studio 2166 Film Pack. We're going to have a look at some of the equipment that you can use while here in Studio 2166. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we have the HD Canon camcorder, which shoots in HD video. On the front here we can open up the lens cap on the side. There is a little button that you can just flick that open. We also have the uh, viewfinder here so we can watch what we're viewing and recording. And we can turn the camera on the side here so we can turn that to camera or media. It is battery powered, but we also do have a cable for it, um, which you can use to power it. And on the side here, we have the option to start recording as well. What I love about this camera is it has multiple audio inputs. We have two XLR inputs here for recording with a condenser microphone with a boom. On this side, we have uh, the information for our microphones. We can even have Fanta Power turned on to power those microphones, and we can adjust our gain with the dials. Really handy there. We also have additional ports here for a lapel microphone, microphone input, and also some headphones for monitoring what we're recording. Now this camera can shoot in manual or auto. If you shoot in manual, there is a manual focus at the front too for getting the focus correct on what you're shooting. We also have a automatic zoom in and out function on this device. On the top, we have the record button. You can hit record and away we go. The camera requires an SD card. If you don't have an SD card at home, we do have SD cards available here, 32 gig cards that you can borrow to start recording with on the camcorder. So I've popped this one out of the bag, the SD card, and I'm going to slot it into our camera. We have two ports here. I'm just gonna put it in port A. Close that up there. Okay, so we also have a handy little remote here if you wanna do some remote filming. Uh, perfect for hitting record, sitting down, uh, zooming, you can do all that from a distance as well with the remote. We also have the power cable here and I'll show you how that plugs into the camera. Okay, so also in the pack here, we have the NTG2 Rode microphone. This is a great condenser microphone, perfect for using with a boom to record voice on your video recordings as an overhead. So we might hang that above to try and get some voice. Um, with this microphone, this microphone also comes with a windsock as well. So if we need to dampen the sound a little bit, uh, get rid of some of the explosive noises or excess noise in the room, we can add that windsock as well. Additionally, in the kit, we have a tripod and a tripod plate for the camera. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up this tripod and the tripod plate. I'm just going to extend these legs out. Some handy clips here. I have the tripod mount here as well, which is going to go on the bottom of our camera. Just make sure that screw on the bottom is at least finger tight so that that camera is not going anywhere. Pop the camera onto our tripod. It's now ready to start recording. If I want to add the Rode microphone to the camera, I can add it to the camera mount or a boom stand. I'm gonna show you the camera mount first. Now I'm going to take the female end of the XLR cable and I'm gonna plug it into the back of my microphone. You should hear a click to tell you that the microphone is plugged in. I now take the male end of the XLR cable and plug it into the side of our camera. Advise that you plug in a set of headphones, check the gain on the microphone before you start recording. Now let's check out what the boom setup would look like. Okay, we have a boom here, which is perfect for putting a microphone, shotgun microphone of this style into. Let's try putting the microphone into it now. With my microphone on my boom, I can manually aim my microphone to get a better sounding audio result. There's also a collection of five lights, some larger than this. 
which we can use. They are battery powered and you can turn it on at the back. Firstly, I'm going to open up the flaps to let the light out. And I'm going to hit this button on the back here, which is also a dial. The dial in the back allows me to adjust the brightness of that light as well. That concludes the review of the Studio 2166 film pack. We look forward to seeing you create your digital content here. Thank you.